Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions and this is the Scythe Case Master KM01-BK Fan Controller. This is the international version as you can probably tell by the various languages that are listed on the packaging. It's a five and a quarter inch bay um, fan controller, four channels, um, the controller to four fans, and have four knobs. Pretty simple. Um, I like the the simple design. Of course, it's got a blue a blue LED readout, uh, which will match my blue theme here on my 2009 PC build. In case you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out if you enjoy 2009 era uh, computer stuff in 2008 thereabouts. This fan controller matches the um, era that this PC build is from, around 2008 or 9. And uh, I'm going to be putting it in this computer today um, because these fans are very loud. So why don't we just go ahead and see what the contents of the package are here. If I can get a little styrofoam -y package. We've got the manual. This is brand new, by the way, I'd like to point out. Brand new, old stock. We've got the manual here, installation instructions. I'll need that. And so it's got this little thing here. You pull out the uh, thingy there, and you pretty much got everything right there. These are just regular three-pin fan connectors, um, but this case has Molex fans, so that's where um, that's where the other things on the table will come into play. So it has this Molex connector here for powering the thing itself. This will just connect to a Molex connector, of course, to power the fan controller itself. And then here we have, uh, whatever that is, I'll need that. All right, so, and it actually does have mounting equipment. So there you go, mounting hardware, I mean. And uh, today's special presentation is brought to you by Scythe um, Silica Gel Throw Away Do Not Eat Desiccant. So, um... There you are. Smells nice. And uh, we will now try. All right, so here we got the front. See, we got our little knobs here. They turn. That's all plastic, of course. That's got the little plastic peel off. I'm going to leave it for now. I might peel it off once I put it on the case itself. Um, so, yeah, you got the little scythe. Oh, and that off camera, didn't I? Little scythe logo there. So right here it has actually kind of a neato feature um, and that's these things that I just tossed away earlier and said I'm not going to use. I probably shouldn't have written them off so soon because these are kind of it's actually kind of cool. Um, these are temperature sensors. Uh, you can plug it in this little these little connections right here uh, up to this and uh, you can stick the other end of that cable to um, various parts of your PC case and it will uh, detect the temperature well, temperature sensors that's kind of a cool uh, thing I might try that um, I don't know it depends on how lazy I am um, anyway here's the power connector right here and then this is a jumper you can turn it on or off just take it out to turn it off um, which en en enables or disables the beep, which of course is the speaker right there. And then this is a jumper for switching between Celsius and Fahrenheit. From the manual, caution, please do not place the temperature sensor between the CPU and the heat sink as it would cause damage onto the CPU or other installed devices in your PC. There is one more thing I should probably mention that's uh, in this magical envelope here are four Molex to three pin fan connectors and that's because all the fans in here are Molex fans so let's go ahead and get this thing opened up all right so here's the rat's nest reveal let's see this thing might be kind of difficult to even get off let me see uh, there you go and there it is you have to use these it's already tangled up you have to use one of these cables here that connects it um, to this little 
tiny connector which connects into the unit itself. If we can get that on camera. Plug it in right here. You can see it's right next to this line of capacitors in the unit itself. And you have to connect it right there. Right in between the metal and the capacitors. I believe I have that one in there good. I'll have to check that later, but yeah, that connects it, like adapts it into a standard um, fan connector. And then I'll be adapting that into this Molex connector. So, uh, this is going to be a mess. We'll go ahead and shove those cables through the case. And then, then we will be ready to actually install the unit in our PC case. And there we are. It's reinstalled. Pretty sturdy in there. Ain't going anywhere. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get those fans connected. First, of course, I've got to get all of these things connected. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so I now have all of the cables connected. Um, you see this mess here we have of cables. And, uh, I'll clean that up a little bit and get the side panel back on, which may prove to be interesting. But um, yeah, we'll get that done and we will test this out. All right, I'm a happy man. I have uh, one fan connected um, to it. This big side fan here. Um, I didn't connect the temperature sensors. I don't think I'm going to bother with that today. Uh, but you can see I have the knob turned all the way down on fan one there. Um, there's a tiny, tiny little number on each fan. And um, if I turn the knob up, the lights turn on and the fan turns on and as I turn it up the lights grow in intensity it's always an experience putting this side panel on um, but it's on now. This old as a Solano case is actually pretty good for cable management, but eh, you know how it goes with non-modular power supplies. And anyway, we got to get this front panel back on real quick, and um, then we'll test this sucker out. It's working, it looks like. Everything's working pretty good. It's running Crisis. Yeah, that's right. This device can run Crisis, in case you were wondering. Uh, but that was the Scythe Case Master fan controller. It does work with Molex fans. Very nice. And, um, yeah, there it is. It works. And, anyway. Thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there.